All right, so number three, um, Adam's sin. So this idea of original sin, Adam's sin only gave us the tendency to sin. So we, we, inherent, we inherited the sin nature from Adam. That, that is a truth. So <clears throat> let's go to uh, Psalm 51. Verse 5, we'll just go through a couple of verses real quick here. He says, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. So I don't believe he's saying there that my mother sinned and I was the result of, of like adultery or fornication. He's just saying that, you know, because we have that sinful nature, this is what I believe, because we have that sinful nature of Adam, even from the point we were conceived, we, were, we had that sinful nature. Um, Ephesians 2 verse 3, it says here, Wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation. So all of us, right? We all inherit this nature. Among who also we all had our conversation in time past, in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, uh, and, uh, and so on, um, goes on to talk about the grace. So we see there the nature, by nature, we were the children of wrath. So we inherited this sinful nature from Adam. Hebrews. Uh, we see here talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, so talking about you know, man being flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that hath the power of death, that is the devil. So he's saying that Jesus took on this flesh, took on this nature uh, um, that we have. Or to, oh, sorry, took on, took on the, the flesh that we have, right? Uh, not, not the nature of Adam, uh, uh, Christ didn't. And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For, for verily he took not him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be made, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make re reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself had suffered being tempted, he is also he is able to succor them that are tempted. So the reason I just wanted to go to this verse is, is, you know, it shows here that, see, this doctrine of original sin, it's right and wrong depending on how you interpret what that doctrine is. Because, see, original sin is right in the sense that we inherit the sin nature, meaning we are all born of that flesh and we have a tendency to sin. So we have that tendency to sin because we are born of flesh. And Jesus Christ took on flesh. So he was tempted with sin, Right? He was tempted in all points like as we are, yet without sin. Now, if original sin means we inherit the guilt of sin, that, that can't be right, because then Christ cannot take on that nature. Because that means he would have had sin. But he can't have sin, but he's born with that nature, so he was tempted to sin, but he did not sin. So if you take original sin in the sense that we inherit the nature, the tendency to sin, yes, I agree with it. If you take original sin as we are guilty of sin, and like the Catholics believe, that's why you need to be baptized as a baby to wash away that sin. Obviously, baptism does not wash away sin. Um, they have the wrong understanding of original sin. So we don't inherit the guilt, we just inherit the nature. Uh, let's look at a couple of other verses real quick. Romans 7, 17. 17 says, now then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. So this is Paul talking about the struggle between the, uh, the spirit and the flesh. For I know that is in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. So we see there the, the, the evil flesh, the sin that dwelleth in him, in, dwells in him is the flesh. 